There are spiritual laws that's created by the Creator, written in our heart. And those laws are there to make us perfect in life as God is perfect. And if you don't do those laws, if you don't obey them, live by them, you only get worse in life, folks. You can't create a substitute uh, imitation of that law, a false imitation is not the real thing. It does not work. If you're doing wrong in your own personal life, doing more wrong or being creative in doing wrong is only going to make you worse, not make you better. You, you can't live that way and get better in life. For example, if you have children out of wetlock, or a child out of wetlock. You give up having sex, being involved to raise that child, realize, you know what? I was wrong. And it's not going to do me good, any good to get married to some man or a man get married to some woman who is not the father or the mother of the child. You say, hey, I'll make this sacrifice. I'll wait until my child is an adult. Then I'll get married if I have to be married. I won't do this again. And then it turns out well for you and for the child or children. But you don't go and create an imitation of what look like the real deal and think that it's going to work. It's not. It will not work. It doesn't work. It cannot work because it's not the right thing that makes life work. If your children are in and out of jail, and I know a whole lot of parents who are doing this and grandparents, you don't bail them out. You leave them there because when you bail them out, you are giving them permission to do it again. They don't learn from the pain of doing wrong because you have taken the pain away, dummy. And your kids end up a mess and now you feel guilty and then you keep doing more wrong things, pretending you think you're doing right and it make everything worse. The kids end up worse and become trashy adults. And it's your fault. For example, there is a, a riot this weekend. A, an all-out riot over some black thug. A black thug, a low life. The Daily Mail and CNN is reporting Violence broke out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night after a white cop was cleared of murder charges in the 2011 killing of a black suspect who was a thug, a lowlife. He wasn't some innocent black tip th torn through the tulips. And some white, mean old cop decided, hey, there's a black man. Let me go kill him. He was a thug who was out on bail. This is ex-officer Jason Stockley. He killed Anthony Lamar Smith as after a high-speed chase in a drug bust. Anthony Lamar Smith, the black guy, was not on his way to church to praise Jesus. It was a chase after a drug bust. Smith, the black guy, hit two police vehicles in the course of the uh, chase. He hit two police officers. The black man, Anthony Lamar Smith, selling drugs and drugs kill. This is a shame what's happening in our country. This should not be happening in my country. You don't go out and protest and destroy property over a thug. You say, look, black folks, this is what happens when you commit crimes, when you sell drugs, and you have these black lowlife, Black Lives Matter, the worst of the worst crawling the earth 
Black Lives Matter is a far left, liberal, radical, evil, agitated organization built of black lesbians, r- radical black homosexual lesbians and, and men, and radical social justice white warriors, so-called social justice warriors. These are not decent people who are fighting for their own kind. And yet they are allowed to destroy property over a thug. You don't see these people in Chicago. Right now, the crime is so, black on black crime, is so out of control in Chicago that even black people are leaving. And then the mayor declaring a sanctuary city for the so-called dreamers and dockers, illegal alien children. He said, you know what? Come on over to Chicago. We're going to protect you. Adding to the crime and the lack of jobs in the black community there that the good blacks are finally getting out of there. Where is Black Lives Matter? How come they don't care about this? This is KDSK5 on your side. Before the verdict of Anthony Lamar Smith, a black thug, a criminal, a lowlife. Before the verdict, black preachers warned the judge he better give a guilty verdict, meaning give a guilty verdict of the white officer. The preachers are warning this. Protesters continue to arrive from outside of St. Louis. Today, this group of clergy said, if things do go sideways, it'll be the judge's fault. Woke up this morning with my mind. What a shame. Stayed on freedom. A symbolic march on a St. Louis courthouse. Hallelujah. Peaceful. Hallelujah. But passionate, too. You, Judge Wilson, are liable in biblical terms. The blood will be on your hands. Last opportunity to cry out. Friday, about two dozen clergy members prayed and pleaded. The only thing that is just is a guilty verdict. We're not encouraging violence or destruction. We are encouraging, if we can't get justice, eruption and disruption. You know, I've been saying for years that most black people, most black preachers are called by their mama and not by God. Here's some more proof of that. And for the white folks who don't know, in the black community, mama is God. And so when mama decides that her son and now daughters say something cute, they say, boy, good, one day you're going to be a preacher. And black people become preachers. And this is what they end up like. Al Sharpton, and these stupid so-called black Christians, those are not children of God. Those are children of the lie. This is why black America, another reason black Americans are suffering due to the lack of moral character and not this phony idea of racism. You know, I stand on this one, folks. I stand on this one. I might be standing alone. But black Americans are suffering, not all, not all, not all, but most, due to the lack of moral character. And there are other children of the lie, liberal whites, uh, liberal Mexicans, Hispanics, whatever you want to call them, uh, who are gladly the Democratic Party helping black people to stay demoralized because that's how you control a people. You keep them in a constant state of demoralization, then you can control them. And this is coming from the black churches. This is coming from the black politicians, the Democratic Party, the rhino Republicans, the social justice warriors who are godless liberal, Antifa and all those people. Black Americans are on earth for one reason and one reason only, to be used for evil. I just showed you a video of black preachers marching in St. Louis just before the verdict of a white officer who uh, killed a black thug after chasing this thug, Lamar, Anthony Lamar Smith, in a high-speed chase. 
in a drug bust. And Lamar had been out on parole for a conviction of drug distribution. And for those who don't do drugs, that means he's selling drugs in your community to your children, to your boys, your girls, and killing them with the drugs. Drugs kill. And you have the black preachers marching along with black Christians singing, Oh, Lord, we love you. We got to overcome. God is not in that. And they are not of God. Most, not all, not all, not all, but most black people wouldn't know God if he came down in a white robe with um, a chariot of fire. They would think it's Satan. <laughs> black people are suffering due to the lack of moral character. Not all, but most. There's no way that you can call yourself a preacher or a Christian and go out and support a thug like Anthony, Anthony Lamar Smith. It's because most black preachers, most black Christians hate white people. They hate them because they've been brainwashed to believe that they are failing in life because of the white man. It's not true at all, but that's what they've been told. I just got a text from someone. Let me read it to you. According to the Post Dispatch, Smith family was paid $900,000 in a settlement with the police commission. And he goes on to say, and they're still acting up. <laughs> $900,000 was given to these people for failing to raise a decent man, a thug, a drug dealer. Black people, what is wrong with you? His folks should not have been given $900,000. If anything, they should have been given jail time. For raising a thug, a drug dealer, a theft, and an illegal, I mean, illegal gun possession person. That's not a decent man. That man should not be walking the streets. And his family should not have been given $900,000. Am I the only one who is seeing this? This is not godly. This is not right. This is not the American way. This is not helping black people. And black people, why don't you wake up? What in the world is wrong with you? I've heard of being asleep, but you're in a coma. Look, black folks, let me calm down. Stop going to black churches. Go to my church and that'll be enough. You can watch it online if you live out of the state. But you're not going to get help. Where is um, uh, T.D. Jakes on this? Where is Fred Price on this? These are some of the larger churches that some of you might not be aware of. Part of House and all that. Where is, um, I don't expect Al Shopton and Jesse Jackson and those people because they are thugs too. Now this is the mayor of the city who is a Democrat, by the way. And Democrats cater to black people for one reason only, the vote. That's all... They don't believe blacks are worth a dime. They don't believe blacks can do for themselves. They don't believe black people can think for themselves. They are only worth free stuff and the vote. You saw Barack Obama did the same thing to them. Good morning. I'd like to visit with you for a minute about the pending Stockley case. We stand again on edge, awaiting a legal decision that will have a major impact on the lives of many. We're on edge because we have watched in this country and in our region that legal decisions can and do result in families and sometimes entire communities being left without a sense of justice. That can and has resulted in protests and demonstrations. This is an evil woman. Regardless of the outcome in this case, we have piles of data, stacks of reports, and stories from our friends and neighbors that tell us that St. Louis is in need of healing. He's justifying the their anxiety anger. We are feeling today 
is not without cause. And it did not start with Ferguson. It has its roots in the story of our country. That's a lie. I hope we will all learn more about the Who laws are these and policies people? that close the doors for some while leaving them open for others. We must all recognize and address the history that is present at our feet. You know, that's a lie. This woman is evil. She just, that's the mayor. She's justifying the anger of black Americans. Who is this person? And by the way, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but let me repeat. This man, I've been told it was the fiance of Anthony Lamar Smith who got $900,000. It's about the money. But if, if this mayor, she's protecting the anger of these people. They went to her house and trashed it. They went to the suburb, the beautiful neighborhood, and sprayed red paint on this woman's house and broke windows. Good for them. This is so insane, I can hardly stand it. This uh, fiance received $900,000. Um, white folks, I want you to know that any white people who are not standing up and telling the truth about this situation, who are not telling black people the truth, you don't love them. They need truth. You're not, they're not getting it in their homes. They're not getting it in their schools. They are not getting the truth in their churches, in their own black churches. T.D. Jace, a part of house, is not going to tell the truth. They teach these people that racism exists. They teach a lie. And, and this mayor of St. Louis is a dirty woman. Oh, we got to remember the past. We got to love one another. We got, this is happening because of history. This is not happening due to history. This is happening due to the failing of the parents and the lies that come from the so-called black leadership and the media, liberal media. Consider how we might acknowledge what we've inherited, how we might learn about it, and how to choose a different way forward. Without all of us working to acknowledge and understand this history, how we hurt, how we heal, and how we help each other, we won't grow as individuals, as a community, as a city, or as a region. So please don't let the anxiety, the worry, and the pain determine how we treat each other. Try to understand the reactions of others and be open to what we don't understand in others' reactions. Ask ourselves how we might feel if it were our son, daughter, mom, dad, what? or friend at the center of this legal decision. Ask ourselves if we can turn this anxiety Who is this person? steps towards healing. Don't answer in terms of what other people should or shouldn't do or think. I am asking, what can I do? What can I learn? <laughs> I hope you will join me. Thank you for listening. My thoughts are with each and every St. Louisan today. That's the mayor of St. Louis. What an idiot. She's a liar. She is a deceiver. That was so ridiculous. If that were my mama, I would divorce her today. <laughs> By the way, I write about this in my weekly column on warnetdaily.com, WND.com. Here's the antidote to St. Louis riots and rage. Really good article. Check it out, WND.com. And so after the verdict came in, you heard how sweet and syrupy and lying the mayor was, right, about it? We have pictures. The mayor house. <laughs> one thing about evil, one thing about anger, which is evil, it will destroy you, your family, the cat, the dog, the grass, the house, the paint on the house, and everything else around. Anger loves no one. So even though the mayor was all syrupy, and let's just understand history, they went out, those protesters, those evil ones, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and all those godless people, they went out to the mayor's house. 
uh, they surrounded and sprayed her house with red paint, but like blood. And <clears throat> at least one window was broken. Amazing stuff. This should not be happening in the greatest country on this side of heaven, folks. We need to bring the law back. We need to force the mayors and the police chiefs and the governors to force the police departments to arrest these thugs when they go out to march and destroy property. There go the mayor's house, little window broken. After she kissed up at them, she mothered them, and they still went to her house and destroyed it. Low lives, white social justice, godless low lives, along with black lives, low lives. These people should be arrested. We need the armed forces, the police department. The minute that these people line up and the moment that they start to be destructive, put them in a paddy wagon, wagon and lock them up. Throw away the key because look at them. They're no good people. They're trash. And by the way, I didn't put this in my article due to the lack of space. Um, the cop, the officer that was, thank God, set free Jason Stockley. He's an ex-officer, Jason Stockley. I read that the officer is a West Point grad and a vet. I believe he served in Iraq. So this officer is not some you know, low-life rogue cop. From all that I read about the officer, he's a good man. And this man deserved to be protected. America, you better turn back to what is right. We cannot continue down this road with low lives children of the lie. And black people, my heart goes out to you because Satan is truly your father. You know, that's why your families are so messed up. Your children are messed up. You're whimping and whining and begging and blaming white folks and trying to get something free. Your preachers are no good and you're into this black stuff. You better turn around to what is right, not color. There is so much more I want to tell you about this uh, godless riot in St. Louis. Um, I'm going to have to do it in the next two hours because I want to get to your calls. I uh, do want to say that on all accounts, this officer, Jason uh, Stockley, is a good man, folks. He's not some crazy rogue cop like they're trying to make him out to be. The problem is not the cop. It's the godless liberals, the media, and the uh, godless black people who are putting up with this mess. All right? You got to know the truth. Let's go out to Laurel, uh, Maryland, and talk to Regina. Regina, thanks for calling, and thanks for holding you on the air. Good morning, Mr. Lee. How are you? All is um, well. It's uh, <clears throat> Jesse. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Lee. No, Jesse. That is what I'm going to. No, well, I'm sorry, but I, I can't. I will never call you by your first name. Well, then I'm going to hang up on you. If you're not well, going to call me Jesse, then I'm going to hang um, up on you. Make up your mind. Uh, if you feel uh, like you need to hang uh, up on me. Are you going to call me Jesse no, or are you going to call I'm me not, Lee? I'm not going to call you. I said Mr. Lee. No, my name is not Mr. Lee. Um, sir, well, if I'm you gonna want let, to be called I'm going to give you one more chance. Are you going to um, call it, me Jesse? I'm going, to, I'm going to call you out of respect for you as my elder. I'm going to call you Mr. Lee. Goodbye. If you feel... Goodbye. 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 Dumb person. I guarantee you, if he has children, they're all screwed up. It starts in the home with people like that. 
dumb person. Chris, out of Virginia. Chris, good morning, sir. You Welcome to the same thing that Chris, she's saying. Chris, but, good morning. But Welcome but, to but the show. Know, hold up, but hold up. Hey, but Chris, you have nothing Chris, to back it up. calm down, and Chris. You know, and, and you say, Tell Chris to calm down, James. Tell him he wasn't even on the air yet, and I'll take him. Chris, calm down, black people. The problem with you now, you're angry. And everybody and their mama knows it. You got to get rid of this anger. It's killing you and your children and your relationships. Hey, Chris, That's thanks for calling, Chris. That's you're on the air. You were spewing your hate. You was telling that woman of how a messed up person she is. Why she, is that? Because, because, she's, a, because she's correcting you? Hey, Chris. That what makes her messed up? Chris, calm down. If you want to discuss, I'm going to let listen, you go. Listen, brother, listen. You are, you are a brother. I, I'm, a, I, I'm not your brother. No calm down, Chris. Chris, I'm not, I'm not your, your brother. Child. I'm going to ask you one more time. And, 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 do you and want to dialogue? Not my brother neither. Do you I'm want to dialogue? Do you want to dialogue? All right, I goodbye, see, Chris. You're a stupid, black, ignorant black man. Goodbye, Chris. Co- see, white, white folks, this is what's destroying black Americans. And that starts in the home, not with white folks, not with white cops. It's in the homes. And the children are becoming like the parents because you become like who you hate. And most of the time, not all, they're becoming like their mothers. Uh, That guy, Chris, is just like his mother. That's not normal for a man to carry on like that. (laughs) I guarantee you. His father wasn't around. And he resents his mother just like Regina. They, it's that anger that starts in the home. This is what's wrong. This is why black people are easily used for destruction. They are angry and cannot see how they're being used. Because when you're angry, I don't care who you are, the truth looks like the lie. And the lie looked like the truth to you. It's just the way it is.